In today's video, we're gonna talk about a lot of good free tutorials that you will definitely find useful. This includes modeling tutorials, animation, grease pencil, effects, and much more. In this grease pencil tutorial, Kevin from the Devon Tram YouTube channel will teach you how to make this multi-layered cake in Blender 3 using the grease pencil tool. You will be making this cake from the combination of both meshes and grease pencil elements. So first, you will model the cake and the table stand. Next, you will see how to light your scene and give your object stylized tune shader and some line art using the solidify modifier. Next. You will add some decorative icing elements, decorative cookies, in addition to meringue, then you can apply the textures and the materials. If you want to know how to make realistic ice in Blender, then Chris Bailey from CG Cookie will guide you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create a realistic procedurally generated ice shader. First, you will start by modeling the ice cube and adding some displacement to its surface. After that, you will see the material setup, which is very simple and straightforward. You can also learn how to create this for an animation with the help of geometry nodes in Blender. Bad Normal released a nearly 45 minutes tutorial on how to create this type of animation with geometry nodes from scratch. In the beginning, you will see how to create the general shape of your plant and get that taper effect. After that, you will figure out how to achieve a spiraling rotation effect starting from the top. Next, you will attach some secondary branches and give the leaves some animation. The nice thing is, everything is explained really well and if you want to learn how to make such animations, this video might be for you. Also, Default Cube YouTube channel released an amazing tutorial on how to create this realistic eyeball animation in Blender 3. The fun part is, there is no geometry involved just texture manipulation to give the illusion that the eyeball is moving. First, you will grab an eyeball image from the internet and apply the texture to a sphere. After that, you will see how to add veins and animate the pupil by scaling the texture using a scale node, and finally animating the whole eyeball. This is yet another geometry node tutorial from Max Edge YouTube channel. You will walk through the process of creating this liquid material intersecting with the object or mounting a surface that comes in contact with it. This tutorial is fairly simple and everything is explained in simple terms. First, you will see how to use the boolean modifier with the delete geometry node to match your mesh when it comes to contact with it. Next, you will see how you can make the material transition using a simple setup in the geometry node editor. In these three and a half hour tutorials, you will see how you can make this shot using After Effects and Blender. This is the third part of the Darkwood series on Reality Acts Light YouTube channel. In this one, you're gonna create this shot of a girl wandering into a house from scratch. First, you will import and stabilize the footage in After Effects and key out the green screen. Then, you will wrap out the scene in Blender and set up the camera to create this amazing shot. Also, another tutorial from Kevin is the Infinite Geometry Node Building. You will learn how to create infinite facades in Blender extremely fast without the need of any modeling. Of course, using the power of geometry nodes, you will duplicate one segment to create this infinite number of apartment buildings. You will first start by importing a building image and UV mapping it into one plane. Then, you will add some depth by extruding some of the elements such as the air conditioners and the window frames. After that, you will see how to set up your geometry node tree to duplicate the segment you just created. This technique can be used to instance any number of objects as you expose the instance collection. Using this, you can also duplicate any geometry or plug in it. Just a side note, geometry nodes really revolutionized the way we model stuff in Blender, and this is just the beginning, I believe. In this CG Boost tutorial, you're gonna learn how to create this seamless looping animation, which is a robot walk cycle from scratch and make the robot follow a path. You will first grab your robot model and understand the rig that you're gonna be working on. Next, you will create your basic walk cycles by animating the feet and gradually enhance it by adding more details such as in-betweens, changing the keyframes interpolation in addition to adding feet bounce animation. Next, you animate the upper body by adding some up and down motion to go with the feet movement and adding some left and right sway to shift the weight of the robot during the walk cycle. Finally, you will make your animation loop and make the robot walk along the path. If you have been putting down animation to the side, this tutorial is a great beginning. 
because it will help you understand the workflow and some details that you're gonna need. Riley Brown uploaded to his YouTube channel an amazing video tutorial on how to get a better edge mask in Blender. This approach uses a bevel node to find the edges of your mesh. Not only that, the bevel node allows for a growing radius around them. By using the bevel and geometry nodes through the dot product node, you can single out the edges of your mesh. This video is well put together and everything is explained really well. And honestly, this video needs more views. Polygon Runway also uploaded an 18-minute tutorial on how to create this plant growing animation using the simple deform and curve modifiers. First, you will start modeling your plants by modeling the root and the leaves and setting up the modifiers for your animation. After that, you will see how you can animate the plants following the curve and adding some randomness to make the animation believable. Lastly, you will finish by shading and setting up lighting for your scene. Simon3D on YouTube released a two-part video tutorial on how you can achieve this effect in under 20 minutes. In the first video, you will be using the shrink wrap modifier, and in the second part, you will use a cloth simulation instead, which gives you the shrinking plastic look using vacuum packaging effect. The first video will focus on the shrinking modifier setup, where you will see some of the tricks you can do to fix all the clipping, and although it's very straightforward, you will see next some of the shading and how to make the most out of your plastic material. The second part, on the other hand, will dive a bit deeper into the class simulation and how to manipulate the pressure, tension, and compression value so that the plastic would be sucked inward like a vacuum wrap. Overall, it is a great watch and I highly recommend it. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to create a realistic snow shader in Blender. Kaizen tutorial on YouTube released a video explaining how to make this note setup and it will help you achieve a realistic snow material with real geometry displacements. Taking advantage of the micro displacement feature in Cycles, you will learn how to add fine details to your shader and result in a very realistic snowball. This material can be then saved and used in other projects. And thanks to the adaptive subdivision feature, you can use it even on large scale scenes as it only subdivides the geometry closest to the camera. I hope you found this video useful, if you did please give it a thumbs up, you can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.